the CIPR Pride Awards North West. How does it feel to be here? Fantastic. Um, the event is still one of the stalwarts of the scene. I think this year they've really upped the ante in terms of production values, the video, the staging, presenter, um, up, to, up to level this year, so really pleased to, to see that. We've done okay, we've won a couple of awards, so um, there's nothing worse than going home empty-handed, so um, you know, we're, we're, we're pleased. It's hard work for the team, as everyone, everyone's worked hard in the industry, it's, um, it's a slog out there, you know, it really is for in-house teams, agencies, we're all working our socks off, that's why we like to pip each other to these awards, you know, it's a nice bit of... Um, Accolade for the team. My, my guys in there are buzzing now. Champagne cocks are popping. Uh, you know, texts are flying back in from clients and stuff. Uh, I'm really happy. So it's, it's you know it's, it's something that we want to win. It's good for internal morale, internal comms, uh, and for clients just kind of a bit of a, a backup to the reports that we say the great work we've done, and then getting the industry recognition adds to that as well. And I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here. Um, in the last 12 months, what's the biggest challenge you face? No, great question. I think we're all facing a lot of similar um, challenges. There's the, um, the there's the economic situation. The economy's not in a bad place, but there's a lot of uncertainty. So there's a lot of there's not much movement. I don't think in terms of big accounts at the moment, in terms of new business wins. So we've had a really good year in terms of organic growth of our own clients. We've not seen as much interest until really weirdly the last month or two. It's like that that end of year charge, and all of a sudden new business post pipes turning on. But but maybe fine earlier in the year. A lot of people have just been bunkering, hunkering down, bunkering down. So we've not seen as much sort of new business growth in that sense from new clients um, coming forward this year. Yeah. And going into the future, what have you got planned? Anything exciting for people to know about? Or is it all under wraps? <laughs> yeah, no, no. We continually trying to improve and iterate and improve our service. We listen to the market. We see what people want. We try and stay ahead of what they want as well. We're doing a lot of work in internal communications now and employee engagement. And really bridging that gap between external marketing communications which is our starting point and linking that through to the internal communications and if we can activate the internal workforce and align that with the external messaging that's going to help businesses really grow and achieve their goals and finally you've obviously worked so hard this year how are you going to let your hair down tonight how are you going to celebrate a few more bottles of champagne yeah definitely for the team yeah. you know I'm a father of four I've got a babysitter I'm going to get home you know so <laughs> nothing too late for me um I've been there, done that, uh, worn the T-shirt when we were younger, staying up all night. After. The, the young ones can go off and party hard. Uh, they deserve it. And they're not in work tomorrow. Yeah, they come in late, uh, and that's part of fun. <laughs> yeah, they come in late, they're baking buddies, all that. And you have, and that, Work that, hard, that's, play hard. Exactly, and that's all part of the crap.